It's a dog day afternoon in Drayton Valley. Diesel is having a ball catching snow. Maggie, well, she's more into herding sheep. Bella is wondering if she should leave them all behind. They're actually listening to not to uh, oh. run, <laughs> run away from us. The Whites are out for a winter walk with the gigs. Both couples share several things in common. Ryan and Clive are family physicians here, and each came from far away. Ryan, on the right, from South Africa three years ago. Clive from Great Britain over 27 years ago. Meanwhile, Sune on the left and Leslie are both on the Pembina Physician Recruitment and Retention Committee, a group that certainly rolled out the red carpet for the Whites when they first came here for a site visit back in 2015. They showed us around not only the, the clinics and the hospitals, but all the, the social and recreational activities in town. They took us to a horse ranch. Uh, we actually watched uh, our first ever country music show here in Drayton Valley. So the town really went, uh, and the retention committee, over and beyond. The Whites were impressed. From the handful of rural Alberta communities they visited, they chose Drayton Valley. Once we actually moved here, that's when they also gave so much support um, they helped us find a place to live, they helped us get our first bank accounts, helped us finance the first car, get cell phones. The committee certainly made a positive impression on Sine. When we left here, I said to him, when we move here, I want to be on the Attraction and Retention Committee. And uh, was on it for a year and became president. And I love it. Meet the Pembina Physician Recruitment and Retention Committee. Today, there is a full complement of physicians in Drayton Valley, but seven years ago, when the committee was first formed, there was a drastic shortage. To get a doctor's appointment was taken two to three to four weeks. And so the doctors that were here, they were committed, they were dedicated, but they were starting to talk about burnout. And that sort of uh, stimulated the municipalities to get together and help create uh, this committee so that they could find a solution. Doctors Michael and Ross Payton are two original committee members that were instrumental in moving recruitment forward in the early days of this committee. They're still on the committee, but they were away on vacation on this night. Well, one of the things that helped this committee is we have people from all backgrounds on our committee. So we have people in the healthcare industry, but also people from the general public who might not be working in that industry, but have that drive to keep doctors here and to keep them happy. I think the committee's been successful because it's been consistent and it's been very passionate about what it wants to do. You know, whenever we have a doctor come in who potentially is looking at Drayton Valley, the committee really has tried to do everything they can to encompass the physician and the family and show them not just the workplace, but what the community can offer. Those efforts have been very successful in convincing physicians and their families to move here. They were instrumental in helping us get sorted out for cell phones and vehicles to drive around with and places to stay for the first few months that we were here. Really, I mean, if we had to come and do that without the committee, it would have been possible, but it would have been very uncomfortable. We were actually taken to a Jimmy Rankin concert where we met some of the other physicians in town as well. And I think that was probably one of the things that changed our mind and made us decide to come to Drayton Valley was uh, the great role the Physician Recruitment Committee played in that and making us feel so welcome. Leolette practices here at the Shale Medical Clinic. It's one of three clinics in town. The Van Stadens have been here three years now. The people in Drayton has been very special and made it so easy for us to be here. Well, we've made so many great friends that have become family, a great work environment, excellent colleagues that I have here. Um, it's close to an airport, close to the mountains, has so much to offer. We have a little ski hill. An abundance of outdoor opportunities await those who come here. Cross-country skiing is a winter favorite. This is the Eagle Point Loppet. It's another example of how volunteers here come together for the benefit of the community. Some competitors travel hundreds of kilometers to participate. Snowmobiling is popular here too. Sub-residents are able to venture out right from their backyard. Now with a full complement of physicians in Drayton Valley, the committee has shifted its focus to retention. We have to make sure that they're looked after from A to Z. And then if they need help, they're all, they always will find the support in the committee. 
Each year, the committee hosts a reception for local physicians. We appreciate that. It's a nice time to actually socialize with the other physicians that we typically don't get. We love hosting it. We love saying thank you for everything they do day in, day out for the folks of this wonderful town. The committee participates in Canada Day celebrations to raise money and to raise awareness of the work they do. This year, they also plan to host an RPAP Skills Day for high school students like this one in Wainwright. Hopefully those students will go out and study and become doctors and nurses and physiotherapists and whatever they might be interested in and then come back to Drayton Valley and give back to the community. That's our biggest hope. Going forward, the committee plans to expand their recruitment efforts to all healthcare disciplines. One of our biggest needs would be to attract diagnostic imaging technicians, ultrasonographers. We send more than half of our patients out of the community to get their ultrasounds done. We are certainly experiencing challenges in recruiting different healthcare professionals from nursing to uh, allied health staff. So we really um, need to rely and work with the committee to, to take that opportunity to get that support. The committee plans to greet those other healthcare professions with the same hospitality as they do for physicians. And they won't be resting on their laurels when it comes to recruiting doctors. Retirement is going to set in and uh, bang, we're looking, going to be looking for four, three or four, five, six new doctors in the near future. How are the whites fitting in? Ryan has practiced here for three years now. It's a lot more personal than living in a city. In a big city. And we are really enjoying that. We wouldn't change it for anything. The whites? the Van Stadens, the Giddies. Examples of the outstanding achievements of past and present committee members. Congratulations to the Pemina Physicians Recruitment and Retention Committee, recipients of the 2018 Rhapsody Community Award. They're a solid bunch of people dedicated to what they do. They deserve a pat on the back and the utmost recognition for essentially saying, we want to help our community and this is one of the ways that we can do it. I'm thrilled the committee's uh, receiving the Rhapsody Award of 2018. I wasn't on the initial committee, uh, but I know the members that are. They have worked so hard for this. Congratulations, Pembina Committee, on winning the award. You're certainly deserving of it. I just want to thank you very much for the work that you do. Congratulations on the award uh, on behalf of myself, Town Council, and the Town of Drayton Valley. I really want to thank uh, you on behalf of Brazza County for all of the work that you folks have done. Uh, you've really gone out of the way uh, to uh, make all these folks uh, feel comfortable. Mm -hmm.